Let's take the DJI Mavic 2 for a proper fly and see if I've learned anything from the first flight. Roll the intros. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Chums of Modelling, I'm Peter. As the title suggests today, and as you can see from the thumbnail, we're going for a second flight with the DJI Mavic 2. Now again, we're just going to stay on the estate, but I'm going to go to two places. I'm going to do one from where I live, right outside of my street, but we're going to take the drone up to about 200 feet, and we're going to take it to the far side of the estate, and hopefully we might be able to see if we can see the M42 motorway. Um, so then we're going to bring it back and then I'm going to be going over to the big green where the BMX track is and we'll go for a fly around there. I'm not going to waffle on anymore guys, I'm going to show you the footage and I'll give you a running commentary during the footage as well. So here we go, this time I've decided that I'm going to give you a shot from what I see on the actual controller. And as you can see we're just basically taking off and ascending to... The height that I want to get to. I decided I was going to go up to about 200 feet on this one. So we're slowly but surely getting up to 200 feet. Give you a nice view there of the uh, Bly Valley Business Park. And you can clearly see in the distance the M42. So we're going to head towards the M42. So you can see that I've basically kept the drone at about 212 feet. And at the moment, I'm about 500 to 600 feet away from myself. So I was actually being a bit brave. I was still in line of sight, so I could still see the drone at all times. It's quite surprising how far 200 feet up um, a drone looks up in the sky. And being over almost a 1,000 feet away from me. But you can clearly see there the M42. North going to, from right to left and south going from left to right. So you can clearly see a screw fix uh, articulated lorry going through the screen. Now, yawing to the left. We don't say turn in aviation or flying, it's called yawing. And so we can see the green where the BMX track is. So as of you can see this time I've got the uh, camera pointing straight forward. You can tell that by the um, little diagram on the right hand side. As you can see now the camera's coming down. You can see the actual angle of the camera on the right hand side has gone from zero from straight for straight ahead to 30 being pointed down. And just turning around, getting my orient orientation, heading towards my street and basically just flying over to where I am coming up to the bottom of the left or the bottom of the screen. Heading towards the part of the estate that's still being built. This is the second estate that's being built. Bit of a glitch there or a twitch on the camera. Again, you can see Virgin Active's outdoor swimming pool and Virgin Active itself. It's a pretty, pretty big... Um, Leisure, well, I won't say leisure centre, but fitness suite. And you can clearly see heading towards in the distance Sully Hole. And you can see nicely there the business park. And some are part of the other estate that we live on. The building just at the bottom of the screen now is a uh, retirement dementia home. And as you can see, the estate still very much in construction especially as I'm yawing to the left and you've got the green at the top of our estate which I don't know if I'm going to head towards on this one I can't remember exactly what I was doing when I was re flying at this stage but I've come down a little bit to just under 200 just over 200 feet and it looks like now I'm now descending as you can see, the uh, H there is coming down. The vertical speed below that is at 6.5 miles an hour. And according to the drone, it's 72 feet 
towards home point and the distance from the salvage you can see on the top left behind that little graphic is coming up to about just below 20 feet now nice view there of the roofs i don't know what i was doing there you can see at the top of the screen there where it says 21 feet that's the obstacle avoidance system and it's now come down to 16 feet and yeah you can check out my snazzy uh lounge pants do apologize about that guys and i've now come down for a landing now we're over the big green where the bmx track is again we're just taking off and i thought i'd give you guys you see me with my radio control cars on the bmx track i thought i'd give you a bit of a bird's eye view of the bmx track itself so as you can see there's a couple of good turns on there made out of rooster and tarmac so obviously when you're doing the quite tight turns on a bike then you've got a bit more to grip on but as you can see it's got loads and loads of humps on the bmx track so it's pretty pretty good for bashing with an rc just bringing it better into view so you can see it's quite quite a big um bmx track it's a bit of like a dog leg i would say going around it and you can see now the big green which we seem to think maybe eventually turned into a football pitch but you know we don't know that yet but again we're pointing um towards i think that's actually uh pointing towards um redditch way in the far distance but you can clearly see that my estate's literally built in the middle of a farm area so quite much in the countryside i've got some lovely country uh walks on our estate which are just on the other side of the houses that have just gone to the left and there's another one of our big greens that you can look go for a walk around with your dogs etc we'll take your kids to learn how to ride their bike that's one of the uh farms um that's on the back of our estate and again i'm up to about 200 200 feet plus and i think now i'm going to try and go forward and also turn in the circle so if you actually watch on the left hand side you can see the map and you can clearly see that like the circle is being formed so i'm just practicing today on how to control the aircraft instead of stopping it and then turning it and turning the angle of where i want to point out i'm actually learning to you know fly it properly so nice view there of um someone's house and lovely big garden they've got there again i'm just you know trying to learn all the controls and get a feel of how to fly again again you can see that the camera's now pitched down by about 32 degrees or negative 32 degrees um, I'm now trying to show you one of the uh, man-made ponds that the housing estates or the housing builders um, have built for us. I wonder if they're actually going to put any fish in there. <laughs> Never know. I might buy myself a couple of fish in there. I might put them in there. A couple of koi in there. They'll probably grow like wildfire in there. Obviously, there's no filtration on there, but it's, as you can see from the picture, it's quite a wide and big man-made pond and a nice bridge going over the middle part of it as you can see you can get to the actual green of the estate from three sides one in the middle is where the bridge is and the two other ends are <clears throat> right like i said at the end and looks like now i'm just basically coming down for a landing no i'm not i'm just basically again just trying to learn how to control the aircraft bringing it down now to i think it was about 20 feet i came down to heading towards myself again ignore the funky lounge pants they are rather uh, loud but it shows that I'm into uh, Star Wars. There, I'm giving you a wave, saying hello. 
giving you a thumbs up, all is well. At the top of the screen, you can um, see that there is a little timer that's slowly going down. That is the actual battery life left in the drone. And onto the top of the right of the picture, you can see that the actual uh, DJI Pro controller has still got 61% power in the um, controller itself. I've um, got 18 satellites at the moment that are communicating with my drone and the controller. So I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just going around into a spin. I think I basically changed the setting of the drone uh, from tripod, which is the slowest mode, into the second mode. And just seeing what the difference is in the speed, that's full stick forwards. So you can clearly see that it can get up to a pretty good head of speed if you are not paying attention. You know, an obstacle could come up to you quite quickly. But I will give these drones, these Mavic 2s, um, the avoidance system on them are really, really good. If it gets too close to something, it picks it up, as you saw when I was um, landing outside my house. So I've just gone flying over. I did try to do a banked left turn, but ran out of space. I'm just basically just hitting it full forwards and trying to turn, but failing there. Like I said, guys, I am still learning. This is only the second time I've taken the drone up for a flight. And looks like I'm about getting ready I think because I'm coming down to 14 minutes left on the battery which is just over about 55% I would have thought again another view there of the uh, BMX track and you can see there uh, that I have just literally just changed one of the settings on the controller I haven't got APAS activated APAS is uh, obstacle avoidance uh, which means instead of the drone coming to a dead stop if the a pass is activated it will actually the drone will make its mind up whether it's going to stop and just wait for me to give it another command or whether it's going to completely avoid it by either flying over it or flying around the obstacle something that i might do for a future video actually see what it does it does of yet i've not put that to the test apart from flying it towards my uh missus uh, which she wasn't overly happy with me doing but she saw that the drone stopped well away from her and she can safely say that she's okay and nothing happened hope you've all enjoyed that video guys as always i had an absolute blast making it for you um it was quite enjoyable to get back up into the air we've had a few days of really really horrible rainy weather here up in birmingham um, it's the first day we've actually had some sunshine and no rain whatsoever so we took to the skies as you saw and we've been to two places on the estate and you can see how big the estate is that I live on like I said I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little uh, video guys if you have please smash that like sorry that like button down on the left hand side and if you're a subscriber of mine great big thumbs up thank you for staying with me and if you just joined me recently Welcome to my channel. Hope you're enjoying the content so far and hope that you enjoy future content in the future. If you want to become a subscriber, you know how it works. Hit that subscribe button down on the right hand side, select on the little bell icon, select on all and you'll get notified of every video that I publish in the future. I'm not going to waffle on anymore guys. If you want to carry on watching videos from my channel, there should be a link coming up here and here. Until the next time guys, look after yourselves, protect your loved ones, but above all, happy modelling and bye bye from Chelmsford Modelling.